Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will talk about site analysis. So I'll explain some of the things to consider and show you how you can do a few basic diagrams in Photoshop. The first thing is location. So you need to specify where your site is in consideration of a country and then the city because you know where the site is. But some people viewing your presentation for the first time might not know where it is. Next is orientation, so you need to have your north arrow in your diagrams. And when you're doing any sort of analysis, you need to specify how you are going to use it. So in the case of orientation, you can see that I've written that in the colder climates, we need to maximize solar heat gain. So the longer side of my building should face south. The base of my diagrams is the site generated from Digimap. And if you don't have access to Digimap, then you need to have the site plan of your site. And then over that is a picture of the site from Google Earth, which adds a little texture and interest to your diagram. Then I added a brightness layer mask. So I already decided on my color palette and the shapes that I'm gonna use. So that's all in the key, so it'll be easier for me to select. And then the first thing you need to do is show where your site is. So my site is this long viaduct that's been broken into three pieces. Natural features. Unfortunately, my site has no vegetation and the only thing I have is this canal. But these two things, natural features and your site, need to be in each of your diagrams. That way it helps position your site for other people. For these diagrams, I'm going to analyze a few things into a few diagrams but you can do each one of these separately. Sun path. So you need to add where the sun goes, which is east to west, and I've done that with the pen tool, and then made the selection, colored it with yellow. Arrows for the wind direction. So for the winter wind and the summer wind, and larger arrows indicate stronger or faster wind. Views, when you're in your site, what are your views out and when you're walking towards the site, when can you see your site or when does it look more interesting? And I've shown that with a line tool with the arrow head enabled. Access, which is how do you access the site? So I have one from the north side and one from the south and you can specify which is your preferred entrance and which one is your secondary entrance by different colors of arrows or different sizes. Approach, which is how do you approach to the site or which roads do you take? And this is just a dashed line from Google Images, but you can do it in multiple ways. So maybe you'll just color the road and specify if it's a main road or a secondary road. And I've been able to curve the dashed line using the transform tool and then pressing on the wrap tool. Nodes, which is a point where two main roads cross and there tend to be a lot of movement and traffic there. So you can say that you want to develop that area to become your entrance or a public square. And I've shown that with three concentric circles with different colors and line weight. Next thing is permeability. And you can go into a lot more detail than I did, but it's basically like bus stops, train station, bus station, pedestrian movement, traffic. And you can easily get the, the traffic from Google traffic and search for your site. And you can see the typical traffic for each day. And you can do diagrams separately for each of these days. Or you can just do one typical traffic. So this is how the diagram looked in the end. I've added the key and the big bus station over at the east side. And I also colored the street of my approach. And you can also add that in your key as main road. Next diagram is land use or context. So these diagrams, I've done them on a bigger scale site. And this is where you specify the land. Is it industrial, commercial, residential, retail, etc. So I've done and did the colors using the polygonal lasso tool. And for these diagrams, I've chosen a flat color palette, which you can find on Google. I just love flat colors. They just have a different and interesting vibe.
You can analyze building heights the same way and this is another color palette which is basically neutrals and different shades of grey. Next is visual condition which means the condition of the building, their facades, are they interesting, do they need development. Next is noise diagram which means where is the noise coming from. So I've shown this with the black background under the site and then red concentric circles that pinpoint the location of the noise. There's a lot more things to analyze and I really can't fit all of them in one video but these are just the basics and it should get you to a good start. You can also look at Pinterest for presentation inspos. I don't really like spending all of that time on just site analysis as it's just research and it's not really your project. But if you're doing it for a report or a competition and you want something really fancy then definitely look at Pinterest for some ideas. And if you need me to do any one of those, I'll be more than happy to do them. Question of the day, can you explain another site analysis consideration that is not mentioned in the video? I'm sure it'll help all our viewers. I'm Rasha Shururu and I'll see you next time.